My name is Robert with Dexy.io, and today I'm going to show you how to build a web crawler. A web crawler is slightly different than a web scraper. A web scraper is going to be more precise in nature, whereas a web crawler is actually going to go to each and every link on the website and um, extract information that we tell it to. So what we're going to do is we're going to go into these individual products and extract information like product name, product description, product price, and even product page URL. So to start, let's copy the URL that we want to crawl. In Dexy.io, we're going to create a new robot. Instead of the default extractor, we're going to click the crawler and then paste in the URL that we just uh, copied earlier. Create new robot. And Dexy.io gives us three panels. We've got a settings panel. We've got an output panel as well as a page processors panel. To start, we're going to start with the output panel. And again, we're going to want the, uh, we're going to want to strategically think about what we want to extract from this site. So like I said earlier, we're going to want the product name, description, price, and product page URL. So that is what we're going to put in here. So for the identifi first identifier, we're going to say product name, add field, product description, Add field, product price, add field, product page URL. Then go ahead and save your robot. Now let's come to the page processors panel. And the page processors panel has two different areas. We've got a conditions area and we've got an actions area. So what's going to happen is Dexy.io is going to go to every single link off of the, the website and it's going to see if that those pages match these conditions. And if we take a look at the different types of conditions that Dexy gives us, you can see that we've got a lot of different options for telling Dexy.io which pages we actually want to extract data from. So we're actually for this demo, we're going to use contains element and contains element is a CSS3 selector. So we're going to come back to the website and every, what we're going to do is every uh, modern browser has the ability to inspect element and look at the DOM and CSS that and uh, classes that are on the HTML elements. And through a little bit of studying, we found that every single product page is going to have a body with the class of catalog product view right here. And all of the pages that don't have, that are not product pages, like the home page or contact page, they do not have this catalog product view. So that is what we're going to use to tell Dexy that we want to, these are the pages that we want to extract information from. So let's come back and for the CSS selector, we're going to say body. And then we're going to use a period because in, for uh, CSS, that's a class. And then we're going to paste in our catalog product view. Now we're going to add our actions. So again, our actions have different types and Dexy.io gives us a lot of different um, methods of extracting information. And again, we're going to say extract element contents and we're going to extract the, we're going to start with the product name. So use your mouse and right click on the product name and inspect element. And we can see that the product name text is going to be div with a class of product name and then a child h1 element. So we're actually going to come over here and we're going to say, let's grab this, so class of product name. So we're just gonna say class of product name and then the child symbol and then we want the h1. And now we wanna say which output this is. So we're going to click this output field and this output field is automatically populated from the outputs that we specified earlier. So we're gonna go ahead and say product name and that is it for grabbing the product name. Now we're going to add another action. And we're also going to extract element contents. And let's go ahead and take a closer look at this description. So right click, inspect. And we can see, let's open this up, that the description is a class of short description, child class of STD, and then we'll have our description. So let's come back. class of short, short description with a child class of STD. And for our output field, 
we are going to choose product description. Go ahead and add another action. Again, we're going to use extract element contents. And now we're going to go ahead and extract the product price. So go ahead and right click on the product price, inspect element. And you can see that the price has this class of regular price with a child class of price. So let's come back. Class of regular price with a child class of price. And for our output, we want the product price. For our final output, we're going to grab the product page URL. So to do this, instead of clicking the extract element contents, we're going to extract page URL. And for our output field, we're going to say product page URL. So that is it for building your robot. Let's go ahead and take a look at the settings before we actually create an execution. So the settings here, we've got the name, the URL, the depth. You really don't have to mess with any of these to start your execution. And so we're just gonna go ahead and click save. All right, now that our robot is saved, let's go ahead and come back to the projects. And go ahead and click on the latest crawler. Click new, new run, and give it a, a run a run name. So we're gonna say test run one. Hit okay. And go ahead and click open. Now here you've got some settings about your run, and a couple of these settings that are important to know about are con concurrent executions. So you can bump this up to speed up your executions. And you've got screenshot mode, all sorts of really important and helpful um, configurations that Dexy.io gives you. You've also got these integration methods. And this is where you're actually going to start your execution. So go ahead and click this green execute now. And we've started our robot execution. Let's go ahead and click view. This is going to be your execution information and these are going to be your results. All right, I've let our robot load a little bit of results and you can start to see that we're starting to get some results in. And if we scroll a little bit, we can see that we've already got quite a bit of results. And up top, we can see we've got product name, product description, product price, and product page URL. For more information, visit Dexy.io and take a look at our help and support page. Thank you.